couple of minutes. Leah, yeah, John. New this morning, after hours of legal back and forth, the only woman on federal death row has been executed. Lisa Montgomery was sentenced to death by lethal injection, and that's after she was convicted of killing a pregnant woman and cutting out her baby. News 10's Heather Good served as our media witness to this execution. And she has more on the moments before and after it was carried out. Lisa Montgomery became the 11th person federally executed in Terre Haute since July after a 17-year hiatus. She was pronounced dead at 1.31 a.m., more than seven hours after she was originally scheduled to be executed. We stand here as witnesses. As anti-death penalty protesters held vigil across from the federal prison complex, I, along with four other media witnesses, were loaded into white vans. We left the media center at 12.14 a.m. to go through security. It took another hour before we entered the death house. Lisa Montgomery, strapped to the gurney, was asked if she had a final statement. An officer removed her face mask, and Montgomery said a simple no. As the lethal dose of pentobarbital was pushed through her veins, she blinked behind red-rimmed glasses, her chest and stomach heaving just a moment. It took just 15 minutes for Lisa Montgomery to die. Montgomery's legal team released a scathing statement saying the craven bloodlust of a failed administration was on full display. Her lawyers argue society failed Lisa Montgomery, who suffered from years of abuse, mental illness, and brain damage. The family of Bobby Joe Stinnett, the young mother she murdered, declined to speak with the press. And moving